Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saints Peter and Paul Catholic Church this morning as we celebrate the rite of baptism. And we congratulate you on this momentous occasion for you and your families. We just have a couple uh, announcements before we begin that relate to the current situation that we are all living in. Uh, we're going to be practicing our, our best uh, protocols today to just remain safe, That the same protocols we use on Sundays which is to please remain with your family groups and be mindful of social distancing while walking about the church or with other people around you. And we ask that you please keep your masks on at all times, covering your nose and your mouth. And uh, during the ceremony today, we invite you to, if you'd like to take pictures with your phone, we invite you to do so. Um, but we ask that you only do so from your seat in the pew and to not move about the church for safety reasons. Uh, in in the middle of today's ceremony, uh, each baby will be baptized individually in the back at the baptismal font, again toward the middle of the ceremony. And when it is your child's turn, we invite your entire family, if you would like to get up and go to the back to witness the baptism, your entire family is welcome to go back using the center aisle and then return using the side aisle while other families and other babies are being baptized. All of our music and responses are in today's program and we invite you to respond to the best of your ability and uh, in support of, our, of these families. And finally, as you know, this parish and the greater Catholic Church will be the spiritual home of these children and their families for many years to come. And if you would like to make a, a donation or make a gift to the parish, there are little envelopes in the back to support the work of our parish in these times. And we thank you always for not only your generosity, but your presence uh, here and your involvement in our community. And I see that the parents and godparents and babies are already in the back in place uh, for the procession. So we will begin in just a few moments. Thank you for worshiping with us, and we'll begin in just a minute. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. I join Brian's welcome to, to welcome you all also to this special day for these children. And it is, as you know, in our Catholic Church, the initiation sacrament, the way in which we bring new members into the Roman Catholic faith. And baptism is the first of the three initiation sacraments. It is baptism, first Holy Communion, and then confirmation at which time we're considered fully initiated then into our faith. So I primarily thank the parents of these children for participating with God in bringing these new lives into his world and for beautifying too our own little world here in the parish and our lives with these new lives among us. And so, you godparents who are with us, with these children and their parents, you too will join the parents in being the examples for these new children throughout their lives in coming to know more and more about our Catholic faith and then so being able to develop further into it. And so that is why it is a very important role. It is not just an honorary role, but it is a role of honor that you take in having something to do with these children being exposed to further and brought up in our Roman Catholic faith. 
And so we begin. I ask you then, what name have you given your child? Lucy Marie. Lucy Marie. And what do you ask of God's church for Lucy Marie? What name have you given your child? Gavin. Gavin Peter. Gavin Peter. And what name do you what do you ask of God's church for Gavin Peter? <laughs> what name have you given your child? Madeline. Madeline? And what do you ask of God's church for Madeline? What name have you given your child? Bridget Elizabeth. Bridget Elizabeth. And what do you ask of God's church for Bridget Elizabeth? Be baptized. Be baptized. So my dear parents, Jonathan and Ellen, Christi Christian and Kathleen, Ronald and Kristen, Mark and Holly, you have asked to have your children baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training them in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring them up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us, by loving God and our neighbor. Do you, parents, clearly understand what you are undertaking? My dear godparents, Carlos and Maria, Nicholas and Ryan, Michael and Nora, Pete and Laura, are you ready to help these parents in their duty as Christian mothers and fathers? Then Lucy Marie, Gavin Peter, Madeline, Madeline Grace, Bridget Elizabeth, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. I now trace the cross on your foreheads and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. So now I ask you to follow me in procession to the pews that are designated for you at the other end of the church, keeping the babies at the aisle end of the pew, okay? <laughs> Journey of faith 
as a family of God. And now we will participate in sacred scripture, first in song by the psalm, and then the readings from sacred scripture. Like a little child in its mother's arms, my soul will rest in you. My soul will rest in you. Like a little child in its mother's arms, my soul will rest in you. Your spirit. Your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the eleven disciples, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And that, my dear people, is why we are here today to do exactly as Jesus has commanded us, to go, 
baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, what we call the Trinitarian method, invoking the Blessed Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We don't do this just to give another reason for you to be trotted into church, although that's a nice secondary reason also. And we don't do this in order to give you another reason to have a party and a celebration, although that too is a great other outcome of the celebration of this sacrament. We do this and in the very way and words that Jesus commanded us to do it, because that is how Jesus has designated that new members into his following would be initiated. And so that is what we will do. And now following a very beautiful and ancient tradition in the church, we call upon all of the saints and angels in heaven, all of the holy men and women in heaven, to look down upon these children and to protect and guide them always. Please stand as we prepare to sing the litany of the saints. <coughs> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, Saint Michael, pray for us. For us, John the Baptist, pray for us, Saint Joseph, pray for us, Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us, Saint Andrew, pray for us, Saint John, pray for us. Are you? Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue us from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for these children. Set them free from original sin. Make them temples of your glory. Keep them from all harm and send your Holy Spirit to dwell within them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we have the first of two anointings in baptism, and this will be with the holy oil of catechumens at the upper breastbone of the child under their chin. So if you would loosen the garment if necessary, and I will come around to first anoint them and then again to lay hands upon their head, invoking again the saints' intercession. Wow. 
Lucy Marie, Gavin Peter, Madeline Grace, Bridget Elizabeth, I anoint you now with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give these children new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. So now I will first process to the baptismal font to do a blessing of the water and then have the profession of faith of the parents and godparents while you stay in your places and just orient yourselves to me at the baptismal font, after which you will individually be escorted uh, back for the child's baptism. So for now, please just turn towards the font. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, 
baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created us in your own likeness and cleanse us from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear parents and godparents now, you have come here to present these children for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, they are to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of our faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in their hearts. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Jesus Christ. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. And so, parents and godparents, I ask you, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Individually now, each family with the baby and parents and godparents first will come forward and the rest of the family may follow behind them to gather around the font. Marie should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you. Then 
Lucy Marie, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. which we have all professed with you. Okay. And Madeline Grace, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Is it your will that Gavin Peter should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all just professed with you? Okay, then Gavin Peter, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
Is it your will that Bridget Elizabeth should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all just professed with you? Then Bridget Elizabeth, hold her head over. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. the second of anointings of baptism and this will be on the crown of the child's head so if they have a bonnet on or hat just remove it and I will anoint them with the oil of chrism so I ask that just the parents and godparents and baby with the baby to stand <clears throat> Lucy Marie Gavin Peter Madeline Grace Bridget Elizabeth God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you, for, freed you from original sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as members of his body sharing everlasting life. Yeah. 
shepherd of my heart. Lead me homeward through the dark into everlasting day. Show me the way of truth and light. Keep me always in your sight. May my life never part from the shepherd of my Lucy Marie, Gavin Peter, Madeline Grace, Bridget Elizabeth, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourselves in Christ. See now in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, your parents and godparents, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. ask now the parents and godparents to step out of the pew with the child and for the godparents to come forth as I call each of you to receive the lighted candle. And then when you take the lighted candle, just go back to stand by your child. and Maria, receive the light of Christ. He 
Pete and Laura. Receive the light of Christ. Nicholas and Ryan. Receive the light of Christ. Michael and Nora. Receive the light of Christ. My dear parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. When the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Now I will come over to each child to sign their ears and their lips. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the mute speak. Lucy Marie, Gavin Peter, Madeline Grace, Bridget Elizabeth, may he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. My dear people, these children have been reborn in baptism. They are called, as always, children of God, for so indeed they are. In confirmation, they will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, they will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God their Father in the midst of the Church. In their name, in the spirit of our common fellowship, let us now pray together in the words our Lord Jesus himself has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on in their children. May he bless the mothers of these children. They thank God for the gift of their children. May they be one with them in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the fathers of these children. With their wives, they will be the first teachers of their children in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith 
by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. God has given to these children the gift of God parents. May he bless the God parents of these children. Along with the children's parents, they too will support these children in developing, living, and learning more and more about our Catholic faith. And may Almighty God bless all of you here present, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lucy Marie, Gavin Peter, Madeline Grace, Bridget Elizabeth, the Roman Catholic Church welcomes you into its following and applauds you and celebrates you with great joy. <laughs> presence here, particularly, again, the parents for bringing these children into the world, and the godparents for your support, and all the family who are here in support now and throughout the lives of these children. I also thank our own staff, Mr. Brian Walters, our Director of Music and Liturgies, Ms. Katie Riley, who, Katie is also our Director of Religious Education, so we hope to see these children in some <laughs> years coming forth. They will be a part of the Religious Education Program, and pray God Katie will be here still <laughs> too in all those years. And our, our Ministry Coordinator and Helper, John Roggio. And so um, again, we, we congratulate you, we thank you, and um, you're welcome to continue to, to take some photos here in the church. God bless you all. Thank you.